Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Keep Blue That Open Roll Ghost Tycoon 2. Uh, in this episode, I will show you a trick that will help you make uh, nicer looking buildings. So, the buildings created by newer players uh, that I see often look something like this. So, while well, this building is not uh, that bad, uh, it's not very special either. And if you look carefully, you can see that some of the walls actually look like they're jutting out a bit. That they're a bit to the front. So that's something also uh, newer players often don't understand yet. Is that uh, when you place a wall and you want to place it here between two tiles, there's actually two places where you can put it. So you can put it on this tile or you can put it on this tile. Now if you put it on this tile, and it will be here like this. If you put it on this tile, it will be uh, one or two pixels to the front. So it's a small difference, but it was, it's important for uh, the next trick that I will show you. And it's also important in your buildings, because you don't want uh, these, uh, these parts of the walls uh, sticking out a bit to the front. That, uh, that looks kind of uh, weird and uh, ugly. So, um, you can actually use this... Uh, you use this uh, fact that you can put the walls on two different tiles but on the same edge as you can use this to layer your walls uh, layering your walls uh, really just means that you're putting two different kinds of walls uh, in front of each other to create new cool effects so i will just start here on the left and then i'll just go through all of these that i just made uh, these are not all the combinations of walls you can make. Uh, these are just some of the more uh, fun ones that I know. And at the end I will just show you a little silly building that I made using these techniques. So, um, the first thing that I like to do is just uh, is a trick you can use with any wall really. It's just putting these conifer hedges in front. And you can also use this with fences for example. So this is a really easy trick, let's just put this uh, normal wall here. So I put it on this tile. And then you can just put conifer hedges in front. And then I like to uh, go to the cheat, disable clearance checks, hold shift. And then you can just put it into the ground. So you can put it, uh, you can put a normal height or one into the ground or two into the ground. And they both look uh, quite cool. Um, it will glitch into the ground if you uh, don't put anything in front. So I like to put uh, some path in between, just so you don't see it uh, glitch into the ground anymore. But yeah, this will uh, really help uh, spice up any of your buildings. We could also do it for this building, for example. So let's just uh, put some of these conifer hedges in front. Now it looks like the building has some little, uh, has a little bit of uh, grass growing next to it, which, in my opinion, uh, always looks uh, looks pretty cool. So yeah, you can use this for any wall, any hedges, and this is a really easy trick to spice up any uh, any wall. Um, another thing you can use uh, for layering is these uh, wall arches, and they work uh, really well with a lot of uh, different kinds of scenery. So, for example, here from the medieval set, I put this uh, castle wall with the gate in front. And uh, you can actually put a wall arch in front of it. And then it uh, just looks like you have a window with, uh, yeah, with these uh, gate uh, thingies. <laughs> I don't know how to call it. Grating. Let's call it grating. Um, you can also use the portcullis door, also from the medieval set. You can just give it a nice color and put it behind a wall arch, and that will make it look like a window. With uh, actually, let's give it a different color there. So let's make it like this. Yeah. Yeah, you you'll just have to experiment with this, but in my opinion, this uh, this makes for quite cool uh, windows. Uh, you can also use the walls from the creepy uh, theming set 
If you put those behind the wall arch, that also makes for a really cool looking window. And of course for an easy trick you can always just put a glass wall behind the arch window. And then you will also get a really cool effect. You can make the color, the color of the glass any color you want. And you can make it look like there's light shining inside or something. Uh, here's another trick I like to use. You can also use this with uh, normal doors if they're opened inwards. I showed in a recent video also how to open uh, open doors or keep them open. So that will usually work well if you just put uh, one of these uh, hedges in front and just move it into the ground. That uh, usually gives a nice uh, touch to a building. Now if the wall continues for example you can also just uh, continue burying your hedges like this. And that will also give a nice touch to a building usually. Okay, you can also use these uh, these uh, steel lattice work structures. So here I use these uh, corrugated steel walls, but you can also just use a steel wall from the mechanical set, or you can even use these uh, these other walls. And they these uh, corrugated steel. These uh, lat steel lattice works will usually work very well to, uh, yeah, to just uh, spice up your walls a bit. Uh, here's one of my favorite tricks for glass walls. So usually I see people just make, uh, just usually just make uh, big uh, structures of, uh, of glass walls like this. Um, in my opinion this usually uh, looks quite boring for buildings so in order to, ma to uh, make it look nicer what I often do is uh, so instead of using these full uh, glass walls I will often just uh, stack half, half uh, glass walls and then I put these poles in front And now it looks like you have a uh, glass with lots of uh, lots of window panes. I think this uh, this is a really nice effect. I use this in most of the glass buildings that I make, and I think it works, works really well. And of course, you can also just stack ha uh, half glass panes and put these steel lattice works in front. That also gives uh, quite a cool effect. Okay, here I put some of these uh, walls that are normally also available. So I just stacked two of these and you can really put a lot of stuff in front just to make it look a little bit nicer. So you can put poles, steel lattice work or some of the other kinds of uh, walls that are available. Just experiment and see what looks uh, nice for you. Now there's also these uh, medieval windows. Uh, you can do a lot of uh, little tricks with them. So my favorite one is actually to use the walls from the pirate set. So here I took the medieval window and then I put one of these walls from the pirate set in, the, in yeah, behind it. And then it gives a really cool uh, window uh, texture to it. Uh, here I just put a regular yellow wall. You can use that to make it look like there's light shining inside. Uh, here I just used a wooden fence. So just uh, one of these. So yeah, it's also a really simple trick you can do. Here I actually used uh, one of these uh, gated brick walls. So if you, you can just put that behind it and then it gives a nice, uh, yeah, also a nice effect to the window. You could use this for example to make prison uh, windows if you wanted. And of course you can also just put a glass wall behind it in any color that you want. Now you cannot just uh, put glass walls behind stuff, you can also put them in front of stuff. So for example you have these uh, rusty walls here and if you put a glass window in front you can get really nice, uh, yeah, you can get a really nice effect. For example, now we have a white uh, wall with a with a really cool uh, texture. 
or uh, yeah, really any color you want. So yeah, you can use this to spice up your buildings and give them a nice effect. For example, I guess I bet this would look nice for a garage door or something. Um, oh yeah, you can use these uh, glass walls not just to uh, spice up rusty walls. They also work really well for brick walls. So yeah, the brick walls also have versions with windows in them. There's several, several different uh, brick textures that you can use. So yeah, this uh, this works uh, usually works really well if you want to uh, have a brick building but with a different color than the standard ones. You can just put some glass in front and they will look uh, nicer or any uh, color that you want. Now here's the standard generic uh, round windows from the original uh, set. So yeah, you can also just put uh, one of these steel lattice works in front that usually works uh, quite well. And you can also put a glass wall behind it or just a regular wall in any color that you want. And that usually gives a, gives a cool effect. Uh, here's another one that I like to use. I showed this one in one of my last videos where I showed how to open doors. So I opened one of these uh, portcullis doors from the medieval set. And then I put one of these walls behind it from the, from the creepy set. And that gives a really cool uh, looking window. Now, one other uh, thing you can often use to spice up your walls is uh, to put posts. So, for example, even if you have uh, several walls uh, that are already... Let me just uh, put a few. So, let's uh, take these uh, window arches. Let's put some uh, creepy stuff behind it. Now, if you want to spice this up further, um, you can put poles right next to it. Uh, be careful if you want to, to put more walls like this on the same uh, edge, because then it usually gets glitchy. So if you want to put poles, I would always put them uh, like on this edge. So not on the same edge, but on a different edge. You can just put them like this, and that will also... Uh, yeah, it will make a sort of a divide between your wall pieces and uh, in my opinion this, this just looks uh, just a little bit better usually but of course it really depends on the building uh, whether it works or not so yeah that's uh, so what I just said keep that in mind uh, is the, when clearance checks is uh, disabled you should always be wary of uh, putting too much stuff on the on the same uh, tile then sometimes stuff will disappear or uh, they will get really glitchy when guests are walking by. Uh, you really want to avoid that. So typically uh, try to use only uh, two, these two uh, layers. So one in front, one behind. And don't put too many on the same, uh, on the same edge. Because it will get glitchy when uh, people walk by. Now, finally, here's just uh, just a quick example of uh, some silly buildings that I made. <laughs> Didn't even uh, bother to finish them, but it's uh, what I just want to show here is how you can uh, use all these different textures to make uh, yeah, just to make some interesting looking uh, buildings. So here on the bottom floor, I just put some uh, some full tile uh, blocks. Just put these walls on top with some uh, decoration uh, in front. Um, I combined it with some uh, wooden uh, wooden fences. Then I put these medieval windows and these portcullis windows, and just put uh, stuff behind them to uh, yeah, just an extra layer to decorate them. Here I put these glass walls with these poles in front, and here on the side of the building I put these rusty walls also with glass in front, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Anyway, these are not the only combinations uh, of uh, layer, layered walls that you can make. Uh, I really uh, would recommend you to experiment and just find the stuff that works well for your buildings. Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful to you. Uh, you can join my uh, Discord if you want. Uh, I, I, keep all my, uh, I keep a link to all my tutorials there as well. 
Uh, I also put all my parks up there for download and it will uh, grant you access to my multiplayer server if you want to join uh, one of my rounds. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again in the next one. See you later.